I've got a barbershop theory. The ring. Something most barbershoppers have probably heard about, but what is it and how do we as singers achieve this? The ring is also described as an expanded sound and is definitely not something that can be covered in just one video. But there's a key ingredient when it comes to making chords ring. Intonation. Most singers and musicians have a pretty clear understanding of how tuning and intervals work, typically rooted in how a piano is tuned. But some of you have probably had the experience that a chord suddenly locked into place and time seemed to stand still. Where the piano uses a fixed tempered tuning, singers can tune freely and bend the tuning system. This can be illustrated through Just Intonation, a system based on the overtone series, which is how overtones naturally occur in the world. If we look at the illustration and zoom in on a few specific notes, we can see the major third, pure fifth and flat seventh are all naturally occurring in the overtone series. So all of the notes from the so-called barbership seventh are actually given by nature itself. The different numbers above the notes represent the difference between the tempered and the just intonated note. Try to imagine the distance between the notes C and B natural being 100 cents. So for every half step on the piano, we have to move 100 cents up or down. If we look at the major third, the overtone series tells us that this interval should be 14 cents lower than that of the piano. Let's listen to the difference between an equal tempered major third and a just intonated one. Do, 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 do. Let's try to describe what we're hearing. If we begin with the equal tempered one, we can hear a slight pulsation from the relationship or interference between the two notes. Do. The just intonated one is more or less stable because the relationship between them as well as the sound waves of the two notes are much more consonant. Do. The same principle is used for all the other notes. Root equals zero, this is our vantage point, our frame of reference. The major third is minus 14 cents. The fifth is tuned just two cents higher. So this is very minute details and most people can't really tell the difference. But it's there. Do, 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 do. Flat seventh is tuned minus 31 cents lower than that of the piano. Do, do. It's much easier to tell the difference between the two, and it's almost a quarter of a note. Here are some examples. Let's listen to the same chord using different tuning systems. Do, do. Some of you might be thinking that adhering from an equal tempered tuning might pose a problem. Tonal center drift. This is correct and has been addressed many years ago in the Barbershop Arrangers Manual published by the Barbershop Harmony Society. They did an experiment repeating a series of Barbershop 7th chords moving around the circle of fifths, resulting in the performing quartet dropping in pitch. So how do we use this just intonation? This is a topic I will get into in a later video, but the short answer could be that the lead should try to follow the equal tempered tuning and the rest of the singers use the just intonated one. 